Hello guys, I am starting my first chain of videos on the let's play genre. Um, kind of going through different games, seeing how they work, playing them for the first time. Uh, eventually I'll go back through games that I have already played just to kind of show you what they're like. I really enjoy that kind of thing. Um, and it'll range all types of different games, so I, I like all kinds. If you have any ideas of games that you want me to do a Let's Play on, leave that in the comments below. I will be more than happy to start, you know, a real good channel for everybody to go through those kinds of games. Um, I will have access to a number of games, um, and I don't mind buying some if that's what the need is there. Sorry for the music there, I have to turn that down, otherwise it'll outplay what I'm saying here. So, and that's all you'll hear. Okay, so just some quick things right off the bat. Uh, again, this is my first video, so please bear with me. If you notice things that is horrible, um, ticks that I have, if I sniff a lot, cough, whatever the case may be, just leave me a comment and say, you know, hey, this is what you do. Just be aware of it. I'm, that's cool. I'd like to know because I want this to be a channel that you guys enjoy and that you want to keep coming back to, not... Uh, be annoying to the point you can't stand it and want to leave. So, there we go. Alright, so this thing, the game that I'm starting with is called Spotlight Room Escape. Um, I love the Escape the Room genres. They are very fun for me. It, the, basically, the premise is you uh, get, for whatever particular reason, whatever the story may be, you wake up in a room or a car or some place that you're trapped inside of. And you have to basically MacGyver your way out of the room or the car or wherever you're stuck. Uh, it's very fun. You have to solve a lot of puzzles. Um, there will be numbers, games. You'll use items um, to kind of help you get out of the room. Um, such as an example, you'll find a screwdriver that helps you um, unscrew, um, you know, like the back of a radio. And in the back of the radio, you take the battery. That Just got a text message, so ignore that. Um, so very cool things. Um, it's a very fun type of game for me. Um, so I just thought that would be a, a good place to start. I'm going to pause this real quick, answer that, and be right back with you. Okay. So, like I said, first one, so a couple of little kinks here to work out. So that is the uh, gist of the Escape the Room games. Like I said, this is Spotlight, as you can clearly see. Um, I've added a little feedback thing as you can see the little white dot that keeps popping up that's me tapping on the phone just so that when you see me doing things or I'm talking about something and I'm like oh I'll pick this up you know how that happened you know where it came from so we're gonna go ahead and start and we're gonna start with the first one awakening and we get to see our wonderful Google Ads because everybody likes to add those things into their applications unless you pay for it and then they finally remove them all right so it looks like like every game we'll have a little tutorial notice the little clock up here it's counting down that probably means that once it hits zero we'll lose or something will happen whatever so let's click on the telephone stand tap the hairpin to collect it all right collected perfect Tap the hairpin in your inventory. Okay, so I'm going to take a gamble and say that that drawer is locked. Yep, so if you can hear that. So this is a perfect example. You have to use the hairpin to unlock the drawer, which gives you access to this knife that you take. You've completed the tutorial. You're on your own for now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so that's that's a good example right there what I was talking about. Now, with these kinds of games, you want to tap everything. You want to, if you're on the computer, you want to click everything, observe everything, like these pictures. I think I've seen him before. Interesting architecture. You never know what's going to come up, what's going to be, uh, have the code there, or there'll be something behind the picture, whatever the case is there. So just click on everything. Some old pictures, they're not important. This is where I woke up. I also, you'll see me click a lot, like under the bed, different things. You see me around it because some games have it where you'll click on the bed and it'll do an overview of the bed. You can move the pillow and the blanket. But then if you click under the bed, it'll show you like you're ducking under to look under the bed. So different games have that. It doesn't look like this one's doing that to you. Those are kind of mean because you never know 
what's going to be an angle. Um, so box, tightly sealed box. So let's use the knife. So now we have that. I don't know why we could just peel the knife off of that, but or peel the tape off of that, but you know, hey. And we get a doorknob. And that little little plank next to the foot of the bed, I'm going to click on that. Figured that was something we could get. And then we have a toolbox. So you'll see the 24 right there. It could be important. It could not be. It depends. So we click on the toolbox. And here's a code. Somehow we have to rotate this and make it do something. So we have to get the code. But all that kind of stuff will be in here somewhere. It'll be on a calendar, on a notebook, something somewhere will have that code. I can't open the door. Something is missing. So let's use the door handle. And there we go. That was easy. Hey, look, a plunger. So we'll take the plunger. Click on the sink. There's no water and the pipes are rotten. A dirty bathtub with nothing inside. Click on the grate up here. It works great. It's nice and cool in here. I'm going to assume that it's summer outside because air conditioning and he says it feels cool or she who knows gender equality here <laughs> somebody lost their temper in here how do you know maybe something else happened maybe a train rolled by and shattered the glass or an earthquake no no all right we're losing time so I'm gonna try to pick up the pace here click on some stuff looking at the table Ghastly murder, yesterday's paper. Interesting. That doesn't sound good. There's a shard of glass. I'm not going to eat that. It's all rotten. I'm not going to eat that. A murky jar with something floating inside. I'm going to assume they're not going to eat that either. Look at the cabinets. Vinegar. Tomato paste. Milk. And a flashlight. Yay. We'll probably be in some dark room at some point. Now that we have that, pizza box, and here's a code. So we have to figure out what the code would be. Same thing, it's going to be somewhere. We just got to find it. I tried to click on the oven and it took me back there, so that's interesting. Doesn't seem to be anything in that one. Oh, wait. Ah, there was a battery there. Okay. I almost missed that. There's another shard of glass with a number on it. It's all trash. It's a trash can full of trash. I'm not digging around in there. The sink is too dirty and it's all clogged up. Well, that means to use the plunger. And there we go. Now we've got some kind of key. Nothing there. Did we check this up already? Yeah, we did. Okay. See if we can open that fridge. Nope, fridge is frozen shut. Can't open it. Something is missing. Let's try the key. Yep, that worked. So we use the key, open the door. About five minutes left. <clears throat> Looking at some pictures here on the wall. That's super creepy. Got another shard of glass. The author clearly wanted to see something with this. That may mean something, so I might have to come back and look at that a little bit more closely later. A lot of creepy pictures on the wall. A few old notes. There's nothing interesting in these books. There's no power. So at some point we're going to have to fix that. Uh, get power running to it. There's another area over here. Another shard of glass, box full of junk, there's nothing useful in here. Something is missing. Vintage floor lamp, it's missing a light bulb. So we might have to find a light bulb here. Four minutes left, so let's go back here to the mirror. I'm assuming that's where all these glass pieces are going. WE64A. So let's go to our first thing that we found. 
See if that opens it. Yeah. W E sixty four A. All right, so got a screwdriver and a wire. <laughs> screwdriver. Told you, there's always a screwdriver. It's always some kind of tool that you can actually use. But it's mostly the screwdriver. I don't think I've played a game where there's not a screwdriver. I always look at these grates because I see the little screws here. Yeah, it's that. So now we got a key. And let's see, was there something that was locked that we couldn't get to? Uh, maybe. Alright, so let's just fix this light here, because I think that's what the wire's for. Getting power here. See if we need something else. There's still no power. Okay, so I just clicked on the little box that got me to here. This is an, a game where you have to connect the wires, but they have to equal the right numbers. So these numbers here on the left, you have to choose. It looks like there's three slots per per box. So you have to match these numbers up here, uh, their corresponding wire to match up here. So um, things like, you know, the 23 and 19 obviously aren't going to go into the 25. You probably still wouldn't do that with like 23 and 2 because that's already 25. There's no extra wire. So things like that, you know, you got to kind of play around with it, see what would work best. Um, we're going to... Just kind of play with this until it works. That would be 24. That would be 25. 2, 19, 17, and 7, 23, 7, 2. Nope. That didn't work. Okay, so we just have to think about this for a minute. 23. phone's ringing. That's great. I guess we probably ran out of time. Let's see if we can just solve this real quick. Okay, so we got that. AMDG. Alright, so let's uh, go answer this annoying phone. Okay, that's not the creepiest thing in the world. For anybody that didn't hear that, it was a really creepy voice saying, I'm coming up the stairs. So hopefully that's not true. Um, that's wildly creepy. Look over here. It's a white wall. Try to hit it. Nope. Flashlight. Oh yeah, put a battery in the flashlight. Flashlight. Nope. Um... Right, this locker over here. Let's try the key, and there we go. All right, so 
That is the X. Let's hit the wall with that. Maybe that's what we're going to do. There we go. Something is missing. Flashlight. Okay. So it was AMDG, I believe. So that would be 5468. And I think there was a four digit safe. So you just kind of have to tap until you get the numbers. 5468. Okay, so now we've unlocked that. We've got some kind of paper. Q-U-R-O-I-T-V-A-S. So that looks like the little door code over here. Okay, so K U R O I T V A S. All right, and we're through. Thank goodness there was nobody actually there at the stairs, but we see some monitors. And an open door, so I can't get over there for some reason, so we're just going to go through. Okay, so level complete. Congratulations, you completed the level. Check out our pages on social networks and write a review. All right, so that will be the first episode. That's what I'll do. I'll make this the uh, first episode. Just kind of do an episode per level. Um, that way you can decide what you want to watch and <laughs> how long you can do that for. Anything that you like, anything if you like the video, if you like the game, things like that, please leave a comment, thumbs up, uh, leave me a like here on the video itself. And get some ratings. Subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. I'll be trying to, like I said, make this a, a channel. Uh, starting with Let's Plays, go from there. See, you know... I'm sure it'll evolve as time goes goes on. But uh, yeah, if you, if you didn't like it, definitely subscribe, like the video, leave a comment with your thoughts, any critiques that you have, uh, things that you'd like to see next time or whatever, and, and games that you'd like to have me play. Um, and if you didn't, if you hated the video and you didn't like it at all, then this is a time for quiet. Many months of silent contemplation. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I can keep you guys watching for the next video. And uh, for now, I will say goodbye. Possibly. Just depends on if I can actually end this. Alright.